Princess? Yeah, that's Princess. Greetings, programs. It's been a little bit since I've actually done a video on anything. So today, I thought I might kind of catch you guys up on what we've been up to here at the old homestead. Check this out. Dun, 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 dun. Whoa, there we go. Game Gear. How cool is that? A whole bunch of games too. Princess still in the way. Super gloomy day here in May 2019. Kept the smoker going though. That's a brisket, a little pork in there. Early. Yeah, I've been continuing my collection of Game Boy type deals and I'll give you a quick kind of look over that. But today's video is going to be about this Game Gear. I installed this shelf and started putting up all of my little Game Boys. I still have my Game Boy game collection. And while that's cool and everything, I thought to myself, I need a Game Gear. I never had one when I was a kid and I always wanted one because my buddies had them. Never had Game Game Boy as well until the Game Boy Color. So I looked on Facebook Marketplace and I found this guy. Yeah, it's an original Game Gear, 1991. Came with a couple of games. Princess. <laughs> Came with a couple of games there. It's a uh, this kind of Olympic Olympic game here and NBA Jam. Then I picked up a few kind of have to have titles here at the local game store and clean them up and everything. But the Game Gear itself, uh, what intrigued me about it is that it's already got the capacitors replaced in it. So that meant that it could play games. <laughs> the sound works, the screen worked and everything. So that was most of my challenge right there. Because from doing some of these, these videos, actually looking up some of these videos, I found that a Game Gear it's kind of a risky thing to purchase because all of them broke. Every single one of them broke. They used cheap parts and they did not last like the Game Boys. Game Boys are fairly easy to fix if there's an issue, usually just a cleaning issue. Um, Game Gears, the caps, they don't last. For me to find one very close that uh, the caps were already replaced was pretty, pretty cool. It wasn't a crazy amount of money or anything so I jumped on it and picked it up the only things are it didn't have a kind of you know didn't have any kind of cool games with it no Sonics or anything like that it did come with a couple of things and then I picked up a few and I've been playing them and the screen works the sound works everything's cool except the screen protector on these things it's that old school plastic bubble and this is good I cleaned it up a little bit already but it was pretty scratched and didn't look amazing so I purchased on eBay this glass one. It is a full replacement for the glass screen. So this is flat instead of being a bubble. So I'm gonna tear this thing apart and then put it back together with this new screen protector. So hope you guys stick around and let's do this. So this is the Game Gear, completely torn apart. There's the backside where the batteries and stuff are. I opened this one up before and I couldn't tell if this was an issue or not. All this like green stuff, or if this is just how it looks. It doesn't seem to be a problem when it's playing or anything. The guy who did this before, he uh, actually did go through and you can tell, I'll show you real quick some of these. So like. These little caps, like you can see, they were completely redone. All of these are brand new. So he didn't lie, he really did do all the caps. It's missing a few of the screws though, for sure, that hold in all this stuff. I'm gonna clean all this off too because this is a little bit scratched as well and I've got uh, my cleaner that can, can handle that. So kinda, I guess what we're left with is the actual unit itself. So, I mean, kind of like a Game Boy, they got all these, oops, excuse me, there we go, got all these rubber pieces, and then the actual plastic pieces, the speaker here, hasn't been replaced or anything, but it looks good. So it looks like all I have to do is press out these spots, 
and that will pop out the screen. So I'm gonna take these parts out and then we'll go from there. Okay, so there we go. There's the old screen protector completely taken off now. It's actually, like I said, it's not in bad shape. It's a good quality piece. I'm probably gonna end up keeping this. I'll clean off all the glue and stuff of the board here. Or not the board, but the main faceplate. Um, I think what I'll do is take out the speaker and then I will give us a good wash and then use some goo gone or something to get rid of all of this uh, sticky stuff. Now the replacement did come with just some generic 3M tape here. So I'll have to cut that to shape. I'll, I'll probably end up making like just a strip across each side just to hold it in and then reattach that new glass piece. Stick with me while I go clean this up a little bit. So it appears that the speaker is not removable. It looks like it's actually melted into place I don't have a replacement for it if I break it, so I'm just gonna leave that in there and I'm gonna do all the surface work, I guess, on it. So stay tuned. So now I have pretty much all the glue scraped and cleaned off there. I am going to go ahead and reassemble everything except for the screen protector because then I can put that on at the end after I clean everything. So well, let's go ahead and do this. We'll skip ahead until I have it all assembled and ready to put on the new screen protector. back together it is noteworthy to know that you do need a game bit screwdriver which I do have right there to actually take care of it Star Trek anyway I'm gonna pop some batteries in and uh, throw a game and make sure everything works before I actually button down the new screen protector He thinks the batteries are dead. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna plug it in and make sure like everything works. Yeah, just as I thought, my batteries were dead. But as you can see, it does still work, everything. So the full tear down and put back together did not damage it, which is good. That screen is glorious, 1991. Power LED looks great. Um, the screen does have a couple of lines. I guess that middle line on there, it seems to be a pretty common issue with these. It doesn't really affect the gameplay too crazy. It actually looks better on the, uh, the camera than it does in real life. but. We'll go ahead and put that screen protector on there, clean it off real good, and then see what it looks like then.
that is the finished product. Looks pretty darn good if you don't say so myself. Yeah, I think I got the, the uh, sticky stuff a little too close to those edges there. It's not too bad. I might open it back up and retry it. I got a little bit more of the sticky stuff left over, but I think for the first try, not too bad. It actually does kind of make it look a little bit better than this plastic one, all nice and bubbly in 90s. It's a nice, got nice flat glass look to it. That's the Game Gear inside and out with the lens replacement on there. Fully functional, really cool pickup. I'm excited about playing some of these games on it. I'll go over some of the some of the pickups that I had did find in the stores with you guys in a little bit, but that is how you replace the Game Gear screen lens. Until next time, end a line.